Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking text behind scene using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to import our file. So I'm just going to right click and go import file. And then once I've got that file, I'm just going to drag it to our timeline and that will create the composition for us. Now what this clip is, it's just of this lady running. And so what we're going to do is we are going to put some text behind that lady. And it's quite easy to do. And by the way, I downloaded this video from Pexels, which is a free stock footage uh, place. So if you want to follow along, you can download the same clip or you can just uh, check in the description as the link will be there. So what we need to do is we need to come and find this rotor brush tool. So I'm just going to click on that and then I'm going to double click on this video and now that will create a layer for me. And now you can see I've got this green kind of uh, cursor. Now if I hold command on my Mac and I click on the left mouse button, I can make this cursor bigger and smaller. So I don't want it too big. So I'm just going to, you know, make it around that size. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this back to maybe until she's in frame. So maybe something like that. And I'm just going to draw a line down. And you can see what's happening is now After Effects is creating a mask. And so now we have to kind of fill in the whole body over here. So if I draw another line over there, it will now add to that mask. And if I draw a line down there, now it will get her legs. Now it spills over to this side. And if you don't want that, you will have to hold option or alt on a Windows machine. And then you'll just have to delete the part that you don't want. And so I don't want this part in there as well. And I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to fix up her feet as well. So we have that. And then this also gets a little bit um, of the rotor brush as well. So now once we have that, so we've selected our person there. I'm just going to make that full screen. And now if I preview that, you can see what's happening here. You can see that the mask is trying to keep up with the rest of that lady running, but it's not perfect. So what we need to do is we need to now go back all the way to the start and you will need to manually, you know, adjust it. So for example, like this bit here, we don't need. So we're going to move that. And then we can slowly go through that. And any bits and pieces that you don't need, you can always just manually get rid of them. So, so far it's pretty good for what we have. And I'll just speed this process along. So now once you're happy with your roto brushing, what you need to do is we're just going to go back into the effects. I'm just going to change the quality to best. If you want to change anything like the feather, if you want to increase it, make it softer on the edges, you can. Maybe I'll bump that up to about 10. And if you want to play around with any of the other settings, you can. But once you have everything and you've checked everything and everything is good, then you can go back to the first frame and then just hit this freeze button. So once you clicked on that freeze button, now if you play back, you can see that the mask is going around. And yes, it's not perfect, but you know what? Like for only spending a few minutes on using the rotor brush tool, I think like it's amazing at what the technology can actually do. So now you can see the whole effect of the rotor brush. So what happened here is it removed all of the background. Now, yes, I know it's not perfect. You know, we see a bit of the shadows of the shoes and a little bit over there as well. But honestly, for, you know, only spending a few minutes, what rotor brush can do is amazing. So what we need to do is we need to go back to our main composition and I'm just going to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to press command D to duplicate that. And then on the bottom layer, I'm just going to get rid of the rotor brush um, effect. And so now what we have is we have the background and we have the person running. So all we need to do is to put some text in between is pretty much that. We just need to right click and then we will put some text. And if I just wrote text, 
there and if I made it you know a little bit bigger and then I move it into or behind the subject so now I've got some text behind the subject so I'm just going to move this anchor point by pressing command and double clicking and now it'll go into the middle and then we can do a little scale in animation with that so I think that looks pretty good and really it is not that much effort involved to get something like that now if you want to fully perfect you'll have to go back frame by frame and make sure you clean up any imperfections but you know what like i think that is pretty decent so to make the main subject stand out a little bit more what we can do is we can go on the background layer so i'm just going to rename that bg all right and then i'm going to search for the effect called hue and then I'm just going to drop down the saturation. So it looks like it's a kind of grayish kind of background. And so now you've got the, the runner in color and you have the background in a bit of gray. So what we can do is um, with the, the main layer, the runner layer, we can search for another effect which is called Lumetri Color. And once we go into here, you can add some presets or you can import your own LUTs if you want. So if you go into, let's say creative and you know, you put one of these LUTs on, you know, you can change the color of, you know, the subject over there and you can make them, you know, stand out a little bit more. So you can either turn down the intensity if you want or play around with any of those things. And the other thing, the final thing that I was going to do with this uh, little clip is just to add a scale in animation. So if I press S on my keyboard for scale, if I just hit the stopwatch and then move to the end of the composition and I just increase that to let's say maybe by 10, actually maybe, maybe by like 20 or so. Now we can have the text moving as well as the runner running past and it just creates a cool, you know, unique kind of look. But yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. So anyways, guys, I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.